What's going on guys? I'm Pete and this is Retro Game Attic. So collecting retro games is pretty hard these days. It's hard to find a good deal, let alone a fair price, and just finding inventory alone, it's kind of crazy out there. You can find people who want to sell it for a ton of money, or people who are scammers or whatnot. You do get lucky once in a while on Facebook Marketplace. So let's check out this sweet little haul that I just snagged off Marketplace. So here it is, a Super NES console, five games, two controllers, official, two official AC adapters, and then two NES RF switches. Super Mario Kart, Mortal Kombat 3, those are pretty good scores. And then three sports games, which nobody cares about. We'll get it out of the box here. The controllers look pretty good, and they're relatively clean too. And then two NES RF switches. I didn't test them out yet. It's good to have extras. And then the two AC adapters, and then of course the console itself, which does have a couple of small issues, but I'll sort those out. The console looks pretty good. It does have the yellowing on the bottom of it, which a lot of them do. But there is a rattle inside. Sounds like something's loose in there, so we could inspect that further. All right, first things first, I'm just going to wipe it down with some Mrs. Myers just for good measure. Cool. Looks good. I'll clean around that reset button. It still seems loose, so let's inspect that further. Okay, so it just comes off, and yeah, the little clips on the bottom of it are broken off, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess. We'll save those for later, make sure I don't lose those. As you can see, they just clean broke off of the bottom of it, which I've never seen before. We'll get a little bit of goo gone, clean some of the harder scuffs and scrapes off of it. Next up, we'll do some isopropyl alcohol on the game board contacts, make sure they're all good to go. Alright, so here's a cool little thing I like to do when I come across sports games that are in pretty good shape. My copy of Axley has a big sticker on the back and it's kind of gunked up and nasty back there. So what I'm going to do is just swap the back plates from the two games. And now the crappy sports game has a sticker on the back of it. And there you go, Axley has a nice back plate on it now. So that little sticker that's beneath the power slider on the console, you can see the one end is kind of peeled up a little bit. So what I did is take a little bit of super glue and put it on the end of a toothpick and kind of just very gently put it underneath there and just apply a little bit of glue and then scrape it up with my thumb so the glue kind of sticks. Not perfect, but it looks a lot better. All right, so next up, we're going to get to work on that reset slider. So I took the super glue and glued those clips in, which it was totally unsuccessful. They actually all broke when I put it back in. So what I did is take Gorilla Glue, did the exact same thing, glued them in place, let it sit for over a day, and put the slider back in, and it actually worked. All the clips stayed on there. And there we go. So, I mean, a nice little haul for 75 bucks. Everything's clean. It all works now. I will probably hold on to the NES RF switches and then one of those SNES AC adapters. I'm just going to buy a generic set of AC TV cables for the SNES and probably either put it up for sale or trade it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So how did I do? Let's go over the value of everything real quick. These prices that I came up with are based off of price charting. Not too bad, 197 bucks. So we'll take that 197 minus the cost of everything off of Marketplace, 75 bucks, and you have about $122 savings. And it's always good to have extra copies of games that people want, like Mortal Kombat and Super Mario Kart. The sports games I can do without. So that's about it, guys. There's a nice little Marketplace score, and I hope you all enjoyed. I seriously appreciate each and every one of you, and thank you for watching Retro Game Attic. Later.